To connect to your EX10, open the EX application on your smart device. The EX10 supports both iOS and Android devices. Once the app has started, you can then select the EX10 you want to connect to from the displayed list. Once you're connected to the EX10, the Bluetooth LED will turn blue to show that the Bluetooth connection between the EX10 and the phone has been established. Also, you will see on the phone that the speed test page is now displayed. You are now ready to use your EX10. First things first, connect your EX10 to an Ethernet cable. Through the EX Smart application, you can select the speed at which you want to run your speed test. To do this, click on the settings gear icon. Once in the settings page, select interface and then select speed to choose the rate you want. If you choose auto, then the EX10 will auto negotiate the link to the highest speed capable with the device it is connected to. Once the speed is selected, click on the top left arrow to go back to settings. If everything is synced up, you should see the interface speed you have connected with at the top left corner. As we can see here, we have connected with a 10 giggy switch. Another good thing to check is if you have an IP address. This means that you're actually connected to the internet. And we can see right here the IP address is there. Finally, click on the top left arrow to go back to the speed test page. You're now ready to start your first ever EX10 speed test. Congratulations. Simply click on the green play button and in about 30 seconds, you will get your results.